Okay, um, I'm Hugh Locke, and this behind us is uh, Sin Eater. Uh, it's a piece which was conceived uh, particularly for this space here. Um, and what can I say about it? It's designed as a charm, a protective charm for the building. Uh, you know what? You keep continuing and you edit down, edit down, because I realize I'm doing all kinds of stuff here. Right. The piece is based originally around the idea of Neptune from the Liverpool Coat of Arms and it's, it refers largely to the fact that the building, the original Blue Coat was founded with um, slave trade money and so this with, when you build a new extension in a building, you need to do some kind of ceremony, and this is, a, this, this, this is a protective element for the new building. So it acknowledges that past, but it's, it basically protects against, <laughs> against any, any, any dangers for the future. So the roof won't leak, hopefully, and um, the building won't fall apart, no matter what kind of gales or whatever strike the rest of the city this building will stand, because they got me in to put this thing up here, and that sort of thing. It's made out of cord, and beads um, glued to the wall uh, with, with some um, uh, simple black tape over it. Uh, don't know what else to say about it, but um, it's that you know what? What's strange about this is I break down quite a quite a bit of break down in this way. This is the uh, the motto on the Liverpool coat of arms, and it translates as all this leisure God has given us, which is interesting coat of arms, particularly considering the times when the coat of arms was, was made. Uh, the imagery here is, um, the, these imagery, this imagery here is on Neptune's trident. This is all taken from a shanty brass waist. Uh, the founder of the blue coat, or one of the founders, original funders, um, Khan, Foster Cunliffe, his his um, money came from trading slaves with the Ashanti. That was the business he was in at the time, so that, that, that acknowledges that. Um, where are we? These are the light, the, these are light words on the, on the edges here. The light words have got skull like images in their mouth. The whole thing, in a way, was improvised actually. Because it was improvised from an original design, and then the original design was changed and improvised once it went up. Uh, so Neptune holds in his hand there, that's an, an, an image of an Ashanti doll. And above him, his wings, because he's got wings, the shape of the wings, the top of the wings, this comes from the line of our wings. And what goes out here as well is uh, the images up here are from the Walker Art Gallery. It's a tapestry in the Walker Art Gallery which I really, really love. And every time I come to Liverpool, I go to look at this tapestry. I can't remember, I think it's a triumph of virtue or something like that. I can never quite remember what it is, but anyway, it's a triumph. It, it, it's a triumphal procession. And the, 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 there's a chariot being, being pulled by, by some lions. These are them. Above, right at the top, is Foster Cunliffe. I've got to watch myself, I would double check that. Foster Cunliffe, and he was descended from, the, the, the direct descendant from the original guy who funded the Blue Coat. And he uh, wasn't particularly happy about his background. Wasn't unhappy enough about it not to give his money away. <laughs> anyway, uh, on either side there are monkeys. On either side up there, this is again another thing I like when I come to Liverpool. Uh, and it's it's uh, taken from Stubbs's Green Monkey, and it's a painting again in the Walker Art Gallery. So there are references to the Walker Art Gallery, but then there are references to this particular building as well, and they're all mixed up. And it's to do with what, what when, I, when I come to Liverpool, what, what I get interested and excited about. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this, actually. I'm a bit lost with it. Actually, this, this, 
As, as you see, the piece at the top is coming out of the vent. So the piece is actually, was originally already there inside the building. And the idea is that it's just now seeping out from inside the building. So the piece is actually born out of the building itself. It was, it was, it was there all along. It just needed the building, to, to, the room to be finished. And once the room is finished, then the piece arrives, if you see what I mean. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this actually. I don't, I, don't, I, I almost don't know what. One other thing about this piece of work is that it, it refers to, uh, to medieval and early Renaissance, uh, early Renaissance images of St. Christopher carrying a Christ child. And this was seen, um, or seen today, as being a, a, a hanging on to a kind of pagan belief. And I, I've seen these images in churches in Cornwall. I've seen them in Spain, these, these huge, giant figures. And when I came to this space, and it was described to me as a chapel-like space, I decided that it needed to have a giant figure in it. That seemed to be the logical thing for me.